Good night, guys. A good, great night. The big question tonight, is the coalition finished completely or completely finished? And we're going to decipher an article that was published by Demerara Waves speaking to um, what Comrade Leader Aubrey Norton would have said. And I said Comrade Leader. Comrade Leader Aubrey Norton would have said in Norton Says No, says on a mission to repair PNC. Now, if you're going to say um, you're on a mission to repair the PNC, you first would have to accept that the PNC was broken. <laughs> and they don't want to accept that. So I'll decipher this thing. We're going to decipher this thing tonight, and I'm glad if you could call in. You give me your take. Whether you're PNC or PVP, you give me your take. Oh, my God. Uh, little child get knocked down. Yeah, you give me your take. Then you want to call and dig some cuss in me. It's okay. But you got to get your input. Guyanese got to get your input. Because you got to find it in the coalition government. So a good great night to Gayatri, Avinash, um, Arjun, Navin. A good night to all who tuned in to the realest thing coming out of Guyana. And tonight is progress report. So I want to read. This is an article um, published by Demerara Waves. And this is as a matter of fact what's going on. So the comrade leader... Can I get it better than this? How you just zoom up? How do you zoom up things? Can I? Uh, oh, beautiful. So you can see it bigger up there, but I'm glad to get it a little bigger here. Where is the settings for these things, man? Oh, oh, oh no, I don't. That is, that is not what I want. So where's the settings here? 10 tabs, new, n tabs. What's this? Bookmark list. Oh. I want to get. So this is we guy Aubrey Norton here. And I want to get the article in its entirety for you. And one would expect after the mistakes made the comrade leader, Aubrey Norton, would have gone to the diaspora with some solid plan. Not ahead of confusion. When they still got fighting, I thought they stop fight. I thought they get rid of Granger, get rid of Harmon, and the fighting done. They still got fighting. <laughs> Mass confusion. So the story is read. People's um, National Congress leader, Aubrey Norton, on Wednesday, that is, today's Friday, the Wednesday just gone. He's in New York, by the way. Um, on Wednesday, credited his new three-month-long leadership with establishing party groups across Guyana and gearing up to put behind the 2020 election campaign that he deemed... Poorest run. Not poorly run. Poorest run. Which election campaign they ever run well? Where's the camp election campaign? Intimidation? Where's the, where's the election campaign for them? It's crazy. It's worrying. The least it's worrying. Right? So, I want to bring clarity. And tonight is just this we discussing. Because is this coalition 
Is the coalition still a voice to listen to? And there are a number of issues that this has come out of Arby Norton mouth. One has to ask questions. One has to ask oneself serious questions. So let me go into it. Hello, good night. Sir. No word how me is. What, what's your problem? Okay, I'm calling from New York. I'm just saying that Army Northern will forever be, as you rightfully said, the forever opposition. You will retire in that position. Well, <laughs> I would want to think that position. No matter, man. No. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. That position has never challenged bro for 90 years. Thank you, Uncle Night. Let's see. So here, I don't care where you be. What I want you to do is, if you read the Demarari's article, let's, let's discuss it tonight. Let's discuss coalition governance, which is very important to have a good opposition. When you have a government, that has limitless resources. And that will be for the next 30 years. Where anything you ask for the government could give you. How do we keep that government in check? That's, that's, that's what I want. What I can tell you, as I see here, from face value, as I'm looking at here, I can tell you, Aubrey Norton, It's not the person to keep the government in check. So we got to ask yourself, what really we there upon? Who's standing up for we? Now here what I'm telling you. With the dispensation of governance in this country or how governance is dispensed in this country as it relates to the divide between the government and the opposition, the balance, you need in this case, in this case now, you need a strong Opposition. And when you have somebody who is now to become opposition leader, you're going to be talking like this. You have to ask yourself if the God help these people. So let me run through it. So groups across gearing up to put behind the 2020 elections, um, general election campaign, that he deemed the poorest run. The poorest run. Now, this would suggest the poorest run, not poorly run. The poorest run. So it, it is poorer than what it did in 2011, obviously he is talking on behalf of the PNC because he's the co comrade leader. It goes on to say, I do not want to get into details of what the People's National Congress reform has become under the previous leadership. So speaking to people in the diaspora, he is accepting that the PNC has failed. First thing he's accepting that the PNC lost the election. That is just in the first paragraph. Yes. If y'all don't understand English language, let me explain to you. Aubrey Norton has accepted because campaigns, campaigns win elections. If you do not know, if you do not know, this government campaigned based on their what do you think name what the, 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 the said I do? What do you think is called, man? They made campaign promises, well. Forget the, 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 the list of, of things, right? Slip your minute. So they made campaign promises. And what they're doing in delivering those promises, they're campaigning. So they're campaigning out and every six months happen. No, it's campaigns win elections. 
Aubrey Norton is saying that the poorest campaign the PNC ever had election campaign the P poorest. Now me says Aubrey Norton says her. poorest run campaign ever had is 2020. So he's accepted that the PNC did not actually win the election as a result of its own fault. Poor campaigning. What he did not accept is that the PNC didn't campaign poorly alone. Or the coalition government, is the PNC. The coalition government did not campaign poorly alone. They performed poorly for five years. They have no performance record. If you use a government, they have power, you have to learn nothing from Borna. They are a government in power and in acting like they got power, in do nothing than fold their own pockets. So Aubrey Norton, in his own words, is accepting poorest run. 2020 elections, the poorest run campaign. He didn't run the PN, PPP campaign. He was running the PNC. He time of the PNC campaign. Hello, good night. Cost me if you want. Good night. You know I don't cost you. Track record is what you're looking for. Track. No, no, no. When you do election. Manifesto. Manifesto. The election manifesto. Manifesto. Right? So Aubrey Norton has accepted that they've lost not because of rigging. He changed him out. You know, he can't go to the diaspora and tell the problem of this. It's not because of um, anybody take out anything of any ballot box. He's staying away from them now. Poorly run campaign. He has now decided to blame the previous party leadership. The best thing that happened to the PNC in recent times is Aubrey Norton. All hail the comrade leader. The best thing that happened to the PNC. Only here for three months. It goes on to say. Hello, good night. Good night, Mr. Critic. Talk to me, brother. I'm, I'm looking at the program. You see what's going on in the program. With the... The rice farmers? Correct. And what, what has happened with the region to rice farmers also? Right? Mm. You remember what our honorable president had promised sometime last year? Or late last year concerning fertilizer prices, etc. Yeah. What has been done since then? No, but what the rice farmers are not... Hold on. The rice farmers are not um, protesting about fertilizer prices alone they're protesting as a result of the millers dropping the prices yeah watch watch you gotta stop listening to the thing in the background you gotta stop listening to the thing in the background let me you that no but you can't listen to your program you like hear yourself this narcissist what i have the fortune thing we talk is serious business buddy good roger so No, but here now. Isn't that so? I am here. Did you hear the agriculture minister said they're doing all they can do to try to rectify the situation with the rice farmers? But listen to this. Mm -hmm. Concerning of everything that goes into rice farming, even if they would have had the millers at that point in time to raise the prices for rice. The millers and drop the prices. Next crop. Man, next here, crop. listen to me, listen to me. Where's the point? You just get straight to the point. Me not understand. You throw me at me, I just me a table one thing, you know. Me a table the fact that we don't have good representation. Me a table because you know who's supposed to depend on the ground with them people there? Eh? Who? Who you think supposed to depend with them there? Eh? Well, the opposition is non existent at this Well, that's why we have to work on building a strong opposition. Who gonna talk for who needs people to talk to them? 
Huh? No, no, no. Listen to me. Let me tell you. Don't worry about Al, how I put things and how I make love. I know people. You hear me? Oh. Yeah. You hear me now? Oh. Yeah, buddy. I hear you. No, I'm not hearing. Yeah, I hear you. Roger. I know people that know Aubrey Norton. Right? Uh -huh. Right. I got people. Right. Who would talk good but not Aubrey Norton? Aubrey Norton obviously have children. He's a father. Uh -huh. He obviously got a woman. Right? Husband, child, father, whatever. People can change. But these banners don't understand the true, genuine purpose. That's why you got to tell them was the false. He comes and makes the same mistake. King Jufi Jaffa, oh, he gets power. He's the comrade leader. You understand? He has an attitude. You could see the arrogance in him. He makes the same mistake Granger, Harmon, and every other PNC leader that you give power to. You just took the words out of my mouth. You understand? Now all he has to do is understand the gun thing. Hit the streets. You see how everything they set up. Comrade. Oh, beat your chest, comrade leader. You understand? Talking to a set of people who are in the diaspora, has made good for themselves, don't know what the real struggle is in Guyana, you understand? And will obviously not be voting 2025. And will not be existing 2030. Because with the high power go air, the bridge, the water port, gas to shore, the amount of thing will be going on. People will be so busy with jobs. So much money will be making in 2025. They campaign dead. You understand me? Jobs will be wild west. But nonetheless, there will be people who will be falling through the cracks. There will be problems with the healthcare system, obviously. There will be problems with the judicial system. All these things can't change fast. So it is important and it's imperative to have an opposition that is going to highlight issues and keep the pressure on that the government continue tweaking at a very fast rate. But here was happened with these people. Right, so let me ask you a question. Uh, question. I listen to you. He will be in He let me tell you because because he is operating with his heart. If this country is to be led down the road in the near future to disaster, it will be led by TikTok Glenn. That is how dangerous TikTok Glenn is. And he doesn't know it. All right. That's yes, yes. You see, TikTok Glenn is also led by his heart, not his head. TikTok Glenn continues to. I hear TikTok Glenn. I don't know if you have listened all he said, but he said on his one of his videos that he done give Brazilton talk to six million dollars. You know why he gave Brazilton $36 million for six, law, seven lawsuits? Have any idea? Yeah. yeah, my brother, do you have any idea why Glenn Lal, the publisher of Kaicho News, would have had to give um, Brazilton $36 million so far cash for seven lawsuits and there's 11 more? Do you know why? Because he lied on them. Because he lied on Brazilton. Now hear what I'm telling you. Tic Tac Glenn in lie one time from Brazilton. 
in like two time pan Brazilton. In like three time pan Brazilton. He has paid for lying already seven times and has 11 times more to go. Um, 12 times more to go. He lied for the man 19 times and has not come to apologize one time. And you still continue to listen to Tick Taglen wholeheartedly? Tick Taglen said that. It's not I said so. Tick Taglen on his program last Wednesday said he gave Brazilton. Now, he had the same enthusiasm that he has today. He had that before 2015 when he lied on Brazilton. It is the same in e-commerce several here. I have made mistakes. TikTok Glenn is the same individual who tried to bring down, who helped to bring down the Amelia Falls project, who tried to bring down the Marriott project. Now, here, laugh. The Marriott has some silent investors. Government being the biggest investor. Right? This is a matter of fact. I don't know who those investors are. The persons who organize the investment processor is Republic Bank. Them know. Right? Here now. The government invested 52 million US dollars at that time to build the Marriott. Big hullabaloo. Oh God, money has fell. What we'll do? Who is the boss man? Who is the man? If TikTok Glenn was the silent investor, like he is in many businesses in this country. Tic Tac Glen got a big business on Regent Street. Tic Tac Glen has buildings billing in Prospect Industrial Site. Tic Tac Glen has buildings in, in Eccles Industrial Site. Nobody talks about Glen's asset. Tic Tac Glen, if you did not know, by the way, if y'all did not know, TikTok Glenn is a billionaire. You ever tell you? Just like how TikTok Glenn would write in the paper that Jagdio got apartments and all. And then TikTok Glenn has apartments in America too. Apartment buildings. Now, not to say he did anything illegal. But he's made a lot of money. He makes huge investments. He's a businessman. The government of the past invested in the, the Marriott at 52 million US dollars. Here laugh. One man next door, maybe with some people or maybe with your money, drop a hundred million dollar place. And TikTok Glenn is talking about the government of a country who obviously we see made a wise decision umpteen years ago to build the Marriott. Look at what the Marriott does for today. 95% book up. Round the clock. Carry some of the highest rates in the Caribbean. Just held an energy conference. But we continue to listen to TikTok Glenn. Nobody watching it. TikTok Glenn, if he had the opportunity, would have brought down that project. And he still talks about it. While it is clear as day what is happening. It is simple. You can't do business and run country with your heart. I am of the opinion because I know the guy. We sit down and talk many times and we never had no sort of conversation. Well, you want this, I wonder. He's a shrewd businessman and he wants what's best for us all. But TikTok Glenn, with his limited knowledge in certain areas, can't know what's best for us all. TikTok Glenn is the same man who got us into problem by helping to have this government installed. 
Yes. Right ask anything but corruption about the PPP. And I am saying, I stand here and say today, there obviously was corruption with the PPP. You can't get a government for 23 years and it's not one corrupt and make it. There obviously was corruption. We all saw it. RIT put it in the paper. Now, we all believe, I would think he believed because I campaigned for the PNC too. They came into power. They failed miserably. Miserably. Five years. Not one major achievement. Hear what I tell you. The coalition government does not have one achievement for five years that is worthy of talking about. The coalition government ran this country. There were visible changes in this country that has to be accepted. But achievements, name one, they took out of the people's mouth and taxed them. That is what everybody remembers about them. And raised their own salaries by 50%. That are here. Y'all call them on 6227740. Y'all give me y'all opinion. 6227740. Manifesto, yes. Right? Give me call and give me all up. Just here, here. I'm I forget. I forget. I get a TikTok right now. I, I talk in my heart. Call me anybody, anybody. Your PNC, your PV, you call me. You want cost me heart today. We gotta deal with this shit. Right? Call me and tell me one achievement. I'll put it in the comment. The Dorbon Copen. Paint all over in green. No, we, we. A good human smuggler. They built Durban Park for the homeless. No, don't, don't let me make joke, man. Here. I, they have to have one thing that they achieve. You know what is an achievement? Something that all Guyanese could say they benefited from. Just. Just name one thing. All of the hierarchy of the government people benefit from a 50% raise. Right? Just tell me one thing that all Guyanese can remember from 2015 to 2020 that the coalition did. One thing you can remember was one thing that Everybody benefited from in this country since this new government coming. You can remember? Yeah, I remember. $25,000. Everybody, PNC, PPP, AFC, WPA, who you be, you ain't join no party, Indian, Black, Amerindian, Chinese. Portuguese, you name it. Every household. Y'all didn't realize that? You know what everybody had in common. Hello. Yo. Hello! Ma really round, you cut out the thing and talk to me, buddy. Hello. Cut off your stop listening to your radio or your TV and, and talk to me. Hi, good night. That big slam hole is Maria. No no, I want listen to me, listen to me. I might be mistaken. I know you are making joke. I ain't making joke tonight. I might be mistaken. Give me one thing that could be likened to an achievement that all Guyanese could say, yes, we admit it. Not 
PNC Guyanese, AFC Guyanese, yes, and Guyanese that people could say they benefited from. They took away cash grants from all Indian, Black, Amerindian. They gave house slots to none Indian, Black, Amerindian, Portuguese. Yes, brother. Good night, my brother. Mm -hmm. The PNC people, they did nothing for this country. I don't even care when you drive around and you say to do this road, we gotta count that. Well, yes, you could count it, yes. No, no, no. When what I'm looking at. Do, the minus two. No, but here. What I'm looking at is what we would consider an achievement that everybody could say, yes, yes, we remember this, that we had all benefited at this time. There are things that they would have done. There are things that they would have done that their followers, supporters get. There are things they would have done that business people would have benefited from. There are different things. I mean, in general, an achievement that you could say, yes, Guyana, this was done by the government for Guyanese. Uh, in a positive way. Because they did things for Guyanese. They taxed them. They took away the cash grants. You understand? They did things to Guyanese. Hear up now. The coalition government did things to Guyanese, not for Guyanese. To them, yes. To Guyanese. Correct. Not for Guyanese. Don't get tired. Even if they did, the children was getting 10 to take away 8 from them. So the 8 would have taken away. This would have done. You imagine. Nobody. You imagine. The children are from the foundation of a society. You understand? And to ensure that this no here, you could say everybody, because every mother looks forward to or has a child with the reinstating of the cash rent that has now raised by 150 but because it's, it's what I get at 25,000 now. Correct. Well, raised by 100% or 150% Every God, Guyanese, Black, Indian, Portuguese, Amerindian is affected positively by getting back the cash grant and more. You understand? So I was asking if anybody could figure out anything. Like the buses. The buses was the limited areas. The buses that get there, there was PNC supporters because... Imagine you use a staunch PPP wearing red, A1C green, you know, PPP is all that. How you play as green? Right? No, you imagine you use a PPP and you try to have a jump in a bus, my Granger. No, even if you wanted to capitalize on that, you next thing you do is what really wrong right with you? Like you switch up, I don't know, is the next problem you got for answer. You understand? So. I like the bees. The five bees. Right? Yeah. No, but here, man, listen to me. You can't tell me I got thousands of people watching me right now. We can't find one thing. Or it's factual that nothing they didn't. There's not one thing we could find that AP and you um, could consider as an achievement in five years. No, remember, they are considering achievement. Everything. They do this road, they do this, right? They do that. But we have to do it by, by, by standard. If you are going to say you achieved as a government, which is supposed to be for all people in the country, you achieve like the things that, 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 like you, what's the Durban Cowpen? Who you think going to the Durban Cowpen? Who would go to the Durban Cowpen? Who you think would go to the Durban Cowpens? Behind the coffee square. Who you think would be attracted to the Durban Coppins behind coffee square? That wasn't built for everybody. There's a place that the, the, the PNCs gather up together for the coffee square. All this stuff, freedom fighting and that kind of thing. Who you think is going to go there? So that was for them. Who you think goes to the national stadium? Anybody who wants to go to the national because it's set up like that. 
And you got to understand. An achievement by a government, or, or you want to check an achievement by a government, should be something that affects a country. So I am asking again, can somebody call me? They must have, um, you understand? Because not for the BS people follow me too. Coalition people, right? Can somebody call me and tell me if you remember one achievement that would have affected everybody. Just name one. I can give you all some time. Somebody must come up with one. Yes, brother. One achievement, please. Um, They let us down upon you. Let us down upon you. You think about it. You imagine we got to sit down. Thousands of trying to think. Yes. What did they do that could affect us all? Not the housing drive. Hello, good night. Good night, good night. Yeah. They made transaction at the passport office very easy? Yes, sir. Roger that. All right. Beautiful. I can take that. What are you going to do? The man said you're going one day, you said get through one year. I will take that. Because people have been, always been complaining. Just get, they got, got half half things, man. Something doesn't pass, what does affect everybody? Everybody gotta get a passport. It's a minuscule thing, but nonetheless, we could list that as an achievement. Let's work with that. There must be more things, man. Yeah, I remember. Hello. Good night, Mr. Critics. Talk. Um, I just got a question. Um, I'm living overseas. I have a Guyanese driver license, as usual, but the Guyanese license expired and I'm coming down for a few weeks. Is it possible they have, um, like, a a service I could just renew my license within the same day. A GRE. You're going and the process is the day, but I think you picks it up three days after. Okay. But I can find out for you. Let me give me a mouth liberty. Um, is there a number you can text me like so I could uh, Just check online, just check online. GRE. Type in GRE, Guyana Revenue Authority. Yeah. Alright, thank you so much. Roger, brother. Welcome. So let me go back to these people. So, Abri Nartnin is, is, is um, second paragraph. They, well, it is, is in the second paragraph of a, a, a Demerara Waves uh, article. Hello, good night. Hey, good night, Mr. Critics. Uh -huh. I appreciate your moment and so. Um, I just want to highlight certain one, one fine thing that if you could. No, one, one fine thing. Now, you're watching my program? Well, tell me quick, tell me quickly, tell me quickly. No, tell me quickly, tell me quickly. I went, yeah, I went to city council to look after recent tax. Well, there's the main branch, right? Mm. They tell me I have to go to city hall. But um, where's the, why is it I have to go to city hall to, at the BNC, NDC and I go into the main branch, right? And when I ask any person, she getting so disrespectful and thing, you know? And these simple things, right? They need to they need to get those things in order. And when citizens come and require about certain things, they need to deal with citizens properly. Cause a man like me, of course the sky talk. The last time I got it, Mr. Critics, um a girl there. She said, Okay, I went there like about um maybe say like eleven twelve twelve thirty, she said, Okay. They open one o'clock. When we go back at the counter, they one o'clock. She says she got to wait to the supervisor. So I asked her, um, what's your position? Why is you here? I just come to find out for a copy of recent tax. There's the information. Why is you have to wait to the supervisor? 
is like what well, uh, sure that you waste and tax people for money because you get paid just to sit in no, but, here. No, but the whole the whole thing, the whole thing. Were you talking about it? Really and truly, you are putting a definition to Guyanese work ethics. I'm listening. listening. That's Guyanese work ethics, yes, Kali. I just been to me factory today for find me guard man drunk and sleeping. Bright daytime. <laughs> Let's hope they hear you and make amends to the, the wicked ways. No, no, you're gonna hear what's up on the live, man. I don't say what's up. You're gonna hear what's up on the live. Go back and look at it later. Yes. So, in the second paragraph of the um, Demerara Waves article, it goes on to say what um, Aubrey Norton is saying. I do not want to get into the details of what uh, the People's National Congress reform has become under the previous leadership, accepting again that it's a failure. It's not me saying it's Aubrey Norton saying so. Um, all I can say to you is I hope to restore the party to the glorious days of Forbes Burnham. This is madness. This is madness. So we continue in an interactive session with party supporters at the town hall meeting in Brooklyn, New York. He bemoaned the condition of the party he inherited, saying that the office and boardroom of the leader had fallen into disrepair and had to be overhauled overnight in time to accept visiting diplomats. Now that is the highlight of his life. Visiting diplomats this is the most important thing in his life. He has chosen to highlight that the PNC has even failed as a party. The PNC party failed. So imagine as a government what they did. For the, he's accepting that. This man, Aubrey Norton, is saying here in this article, he went to Brooklyn and tell the people that the PNC failed so much. This is the party. Remember, this is the party, uh, the party headquarters. The PNC has failed so much that they even failed for take care of self. <laughs> right? So he continues to say, be money condition and diplomat. Um, Mr. Norton said, the Mr. Norton also said, Congress place, the PNC are headquarters as a fire, barely had a few junior workers. I have inherited a party that has four categories of workers. Guards, drivers, clerks, and handymen. That sounds like City Hall. <laughs> Congress Pleasant City Hall is the same thing? Yes, that sounds like City Hall. This is City Hall he's talking about here. He mixes it up. So, um, the PN uh, thing, janitor workers, but I have inherited, yeah. That's what I inherited for the previous leadership. So diplomatically he's put it down, he's accepting that the PNC has not only failed, because you can't tell me your party fail and your government may fail and everything from your party made the government. Right? So you gotta listen, you gotta decipher, you gotta think what this guy is saying. Right? He goes on to say the PRs. The PNCR, which is the largest partner in the opposition coalition of a partnership for national unity plus alliance for change, he said, had run a sloppy election campaign for the March 2020 polls. It was a record. I was on record as saying that the poorest run election in my 50 years of involvement in the PNC are is the 2020 election. Norton born in the PNCR? <laughs> he bought 50 years. How old is Norton, man? How old is Norton? He born there? He was given birth to Congress place? <laughs> I have no apologies to make. He made the same mistake that Harmon made. Harmon said that. Yes. Mr. Norton, you make you continue to make the same King Jufi Jaffa mistake. Terms like that comes from an arrogant background. Right? 
I have no apologies to make. It's the worst run election, he said. The PNCR leader partly attributed that to the fact that one of the realities of the last election is that a lot of people who knew political work and knew what to do when marginalized, a manual who knew what to do were marginalized, were marginalized, now when marginalized. So they're saying, he's saying again, because here now, when they get this big, like him as comrade leader, he didn't understand. He even swab with the old people, you know, he's the comrade leader for them. Oh, oh, Tarzan for he crew. And that is where he has no ability to bring up morale in the ranks. That is where you see when a man is going to say things and he has no apologies and these kind of things. What would be in your mind when you're in the diaspora speaking to people want them to develop an interest in you and you're speaking down at them? Because don't you know that the people who you're speaking to today would have listened to Harmon and Granger too? People wouldn't have had ideas about how they think or positive thoughts or likeness for Granger and Harma. He got to straighten, I am the king. Right? Emmanuel, on conducting elections, he added, has to be totally ignored. Had been totally ignored, sorry. Right? Man, I can't get this thing to open up more big man from the CM better. Yeah, I've seen from Dylan. The Ghana Election Commission, GCOM, had declared that the partnership AP and UAFC had won 217,920 votes and the People's Progressive Party, uh, People's Civic, 233,336 votes. This is um, Demarara is putting substance to their article. He said the coalition could have performed better if they had been properly organized on the ground and in so doing attract sufficient funding. They were a government, they ain't got enough funding there. They got the funding they want. They need it. They were funny. <laughs> they didn't need funding. They were too funny. That's right. We cannot not have a ground machinery and hope to win an election. He said, no, he's going into details to show how the PNC and the coalition failed. So what now is left about the argument that the PPP is an installed government? Aubrey Norton lengthily, paragraph after paragraph, accepts that the PNC failed. The coalition failed. So what now is but dead voters and all these kind of things? He continues, attacking Amna Ali. I want to go to something that Norton needs to answer to. Mr. Norton indicated that the PNC will be putting in place professional staff to do the required work, ramping up its media, public relations, and election campaign machinery and organizational capacity. He said the United States, our United States based company was expected to be hired to work with us to prepare for elections. In fact, some of them have indicated that they are willing to finance it and we are working on that. Now, some of them, which United States based companies we got in this country? Exxon Mobil and CGX? Has Aubrey Norton been promising? Oil deals of 0% that we will give them oil and collect no royalty? Aubrey Norton has to explain to the people of Guyana what American firms he's talking about. <laughs> Y'all got to pay attention. Y'all paying attention? Are you people paying attention to what is going on in this country? 
the opposition leader clearly states here said a US based company was expected to be hired to work with us to prepare for elections. In fact, some of them have indicated that they are willing to finance it and we are working on that. So US based companies in Guyana, can you guys list some US based companies and what they do in Guyana for me? And why they would have an interest in funding the opposition? Can the opposition leader come and say who these US based companies are? Are they pharmaceutical companies? Because they have people who have companies in America that buy cocaine from Colombia and have it ch channeled through Guyana. You know, Guyana is a transshipment point. Can Aubrey Norton say who these companies are? Are they into illicit drugs? What companies? No, you have an opposition leader that tying up it. What has he promised these companies? What is the interest of an American company in Guyana? In Guyana's politics, by the way. In Guyana's politics. <clears throat> Will they be supporting with finances alone? Or what else will they be giving? Will they be giving Aubrey Norton has to come and answer what American companies has an interest in Guyana's politics and is willing to fund the opposition. So we continue. Already he said someone has been appointed to be responsible for elections who would be responsible for continuous training as part of a plan to put the party back on the ground. The parties obviously lose touch. He's accepted that the parties lost touch with his supporters. I will show you the dangers of having people who speak about things that they know not about. Looking smart and being smart is two different things. He go on to say the PNCR leader said he had begun reaching out to international community and for the first time he publicly stated that when a Ghanaian delegation visited Guyana, I met the Ghanaians and he reported that to his party central executive. In fact, he is just, it is just for me to choose the time that I'm going to go to Ghana and Nigeria. I do believe that we have to establish proper relations with Ghana and Nigeria, he said. He dispelled claims that the PNCR had rejected an offer from saying that Mr. Granger had done so. Now, only Ghana and Nigeria? The P is the PNC a Black Lives Matter organization alone? Is it an organization that could come and represent all Guyanese? Does Aubrey Norton have an interest in visiting India? What's this thing with Nigeria and Ghana? It's going on. <laughs> you sure? Who's going on with the PNC? What's the Nigerian guy? Want to the rest of the world? Want to talk into try to work on a deal with Maduro? Want to Brazil? Sarnami's president right next door. What's it? Let me continue. I met with the guy and I said, fact. And he reported that his party, in fact, it is just for me to go here. Overturns, he said, are also being made to Barbados, Prime Minister Mia Motley, through at least two intermediaries. Imagine he can't even, you just, 
the holiday and you'll tell her you're the opposition leader. You're sorry about how she was treated when she stood up for democracy in Guyana. You understand? You're sorry. I'm to Jamaica. Nobody, you, you want to take a train of that? Keith Rowley? He got to Ghana and Nigeria. <laughs> He's traveling far. You know what's going on with He excited for travel. He talk. It's only time for him to travel. King Jeffrey Jaffa. So he's on a plane. Ah, you know me? You know who I am? I'm Aubrey Norton. I'm the opposition leader of an oil producing country. Yeah, I'm Aubrey Norton. You know me? You never heard of me? So everybody's like, huh? Hmm? No, I haven't never heard about your side. Where from? You from? Who? <laughs> Guyana, you come from this country? No, 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 I'm not from your country here, Ghana. I'm from Guyana. Where? <laughs> oh, Mr. Norton said he was continuing his countrywide outreach. And if the PPP continues to marginalize opposition supporters, it could reach a stage where government officials will be unable to visit his strongholds. You imagine the opposition leader in waiting is trying to drive a wedge between his supporters before he let him like collect what I could collect. So they're gonna run up people when they come for Bill Road? They're gonna run up people when they come for Gitu and five thousand dollars? <laughs> I tell you, the PBB people when they send their money would be only too glad for running to the village and go with the money. Eh? How are you making joke? When the government sent people in your area for hand out money, they gonna run them out? Okay. Now hear what I want, Aubrey Norton, to show. Which people? They can't even get with the protests. Which people are you talking about? Which strongholds are you talking about? <laughs> Touching on the likelihood of protesting Protesters being locked up. They always call you the protester. They call you the protest bars. Right? But I want the, uh, the, the opposition leader needs to, the opposition leader in waiting, as a matter of fact, Aubrey Norton, needs to explain to the Guyanese people what um, he has promised. Hello, critic. I am uh, the rice mill in Laguan. I saw a mill car from you earlier. I am selling the mill and I understand that you may be interested. Yes, my brother, I, I was told you, you, you're looking for about $50 million or something like that. I'd like to visit the facility and, and maybe we could work out some form of a deal. Here's, so, uh, please, she lost all her documents because of the move, one place to another. She did not have, this was this, the long, long story. Very good night. Um, it would highly be appreciated if you can raise the matter of concern for us. My name is uh, a resident of Parfit Harmony and it relates to the main access road for our children to go to school. I have some pictures as evidence. So the main access road to the Parfit Harmony for the children to go to school. Jesus Christ. PNC achievements for Guyanese. Major monument. You cannot insult cow. That is Durban Park Stadium. Uh, sorry, I apologize to the cows. The good thing that Granger did to put Wi-Fi in the village with no internet and then you have to put the name to sign in is Granger and that you call fraud is fraud. <laughs> hey, by y'all and easy. No, I want some serious things, man. Yeah, I stop fooling around. Could the Granger build the state up? Yeah. Now, it is worrying. As to what the opposition leader in waiting was willing to give American companies that they will make commitments to him. Which American companies? You know, Amer the CIA has set us front companies. What has this man gone and told people and promised people to get power? How far are these banners are willing to go to get power? Hello, good night. 
next time to take him on my call. But I want to touch base on a little uh, what uh, uh, Norton said about uh, returning the PNCR to Burnham glory days. Now, that statement... Imagine a man is saying to the whole of Guyana that he wants to bring back... PNCR. Burnham days. section of the population who live over there, would he be telling them that he wants to bring back the PNCR to Bordham Glory Days? Well, as much as he was in his grouping, yeah. he was speaking publicly. That's correct. So, he, he was speaking to everybody, although he was exactly. not in a PPP stronghold area. But I'm uh, telling you, power has gone to his head. Now, they are getting crazy. And there's a saying that the gods run them mad before. Uh, well, I can I remember it. But this is madness. Yeah. Yes, because here's the, here's the other thing. How is he going to win an election only with a Afro a centric base uh, party uh, my which brother is, which, my brother which what, what the pnc to continues to do is try to create an illusion now i know that the pnc and the coalition government will yeah. be in that position for the rest of my natural life and i'm hoping to live to about 90 i am 42 well, now now, that is a matter of fact. Roger, that is a matter of fact. I am hopeful that they can become a strong opposition to hold the government accountable. Look at this government. Look here. These sure are it here. Let's revisit. Let me not say for my natural life. Let us revisit because look at the PPP, how did they running? Good, good, good. Then they go in every damn Ramatar and bail shit happen. Yes, sir. Be sure if the PPP end up with a president, no matter how much money they got, with, with a president like Dan Ramatar, they're going to lose again. So, but I am looking at our president now. I can guarantee you the PPP and the PNC don't have no headway, no leeway, no edge, nothing. Not even close. To President Ali. Look at his two years performance. And when he accelerates, you will see what will happen. Remember, then I got him own conversation. He and his wife now decide to get the argument right here. So, my really. The price stated in your message is not correct. Sorry, you were misinformed. I bought the mill for more than my selling price is one or twenty-five million. The outer me league, chief. The outer me league. The outer me league. For one twenty-five million, I bring a brand new modern mill to this country. All right, thanks though. Are you gonna know where I go and get corrupt? For we'll final one twenty five million dollars. Now I mean by the see me when I say more. So I think the big question here one has to ask is which American companies? Because if you're talking about the the government tying up deals that negotiated the a unigo, you know. Is what we talking about Exxon Mobil and stuff. What American companies are you talking about? Are companies promise you deals? Are companies now getting into politics in Guyana? Here. I think this question is very important and need to be asked. What companies, who the companies are, and when you 
they fund you and you win election, what did you promise them? Is Aubrey Norton going about giving away or making promises to American companies? Have to be oil companies. Who else has an interest? In seeing the PNC be coming to for what? Destroy this country? <laughs> hey, yeah, I'll take care, buddy. I'll take care. Good night.